So now Samsung has about five buds in their lineup. We have the Samsung Galaxy Buds, the true OGs. We have the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, which we don't have here. We have the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. We have the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. So this is the whole entire lineup, amazing. Now, something that's very interesting about the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2, they ideally, because of naming, happen to be the successor to the original Samsung Galaxy Buds. But let me tell you, all of this have been amazing. I have used all of them. I don't, I didn't get the Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy Buds Plus, but I used them for a bit. I love the fact that they, they have the woofer and the, the tweeter in the driver, so they're able to give you amazing, rich sound. And that has been carried through all the way from the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro to the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. So that's the whole lineup. And you know, just, let's just take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. These are amazing. You know, as I've said, these are the smallest and the lightest Galaxy Buds in their whole entire lineup and they pack quite a number of amazing features one of the things that that, that, that something has done is uh you know they pick the elements that they find that are amazing they keep them then they keep on changing on the elements that they require improvement so the some the original samsung galaxy buds came in a pill shape case they moved over and, and, and wing tips, so they had uh, the pill shape case, they, they had wing tips and you know they were the in-ear kind. Then they moved over to the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, uh, they would still uh, retain the pill shape. The, a bit, the, the pill shape was a bit bigger so it had a bigger battery. Uh, they still retained the wing tips and the in-ear canal system. They moved over to, over to the Ga Samsung Galaxy Buds Live which we call the beans. We call him, we call them the beans here at Tekken. They look like beans. And this one's ideally was supposed to be more ergonomic in terms of fit because they would fit in your ear. So it was not more of, of the in-ear canal system. It was a different design. But with the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, they introduced the box shape kind of a case. With all this, they've still managed to keep magnetic charging and you can also charge via USB type C. So with the Samsung Galaxy Buds, they introduced this kind of shape, which was carried over to the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, which I also happen to have here. And now the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. So your Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. Come in four color options. You have your olive, which I have here. Looks amazing. It's more of a green kind of uh, feel. You have your graphite, which is more of a black. You have your white, and then you have your lavender, which is more of a purple. And uh, as you can look at it, the case is white, but the internals uh, carry for the theme to which you have your buds. And I have them here in this olive, which really look amazing. They have that brand there, sound by AKG. And all that if i open my samsung galaxy buds pro for comparison you can see that the samsung galaxy buds pro are bigger than the samsung galaxy buds 2. so this also happened to be very lighter you can also feel the case is a bit lighter than this now this gives you about 5 to 20 hours of playtime, 5 hours uh right off and, and 20 hours with the case on so you're able to enjoy music with this the case is also magnetic so it automatically shuts and you know it has your wireless charging has your usb type c charging and also in the box what you also get uh you get your your type a to type c charging cable and you get your different uh you know you, you get your different tips rubber tips for the end depending on your feet ideally they always come in fitted with the medium size uh, but they also give you large if your ears are a bit bigger and small if you have smaller ears. So they give you a wide uh, array of fittings so that ideally you can enjoy that. One of the things that I totally lo love about the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 is once paired with your Galaxy device, immediately you open them up they detect and as has been with all the buds lineup once they detect they tell you how much the case has charged and the earbuds themselves and when you go into the the wearable app the galaxy wearable app which funny enough has always been yellow and uh, the, the the app icon has always been uh, orangish now turned blue i don't know why i don't know where 
but if you go into the settings app and you have your buds to connected uh, you ideally you can change your noise controls from active noise cancelling to off to ambient sound and you can also have uh, active noise cancellation with one earbud put on but it's always advice that you have with both of them now when you go into earbuds uh, settings there's a new setting here called earbud fit test so if i take my earbuds and i and i put them on if i put them on the right goes into the right as you can see it's a pretty snug fit it's comfortable uh, you can have this on for a very long period of time without hurting your ears you know you, you, you you're gonna get used to them and they become like an extension of you so you get to enjoy that experience and immediately i put them on immediately uh active noise cancelling shuts off ambient noise and, it, and the packaging says well it cuts it by around 98 percent uh that's for you to judge but it does a good job when it comes to a and c but when you go over to the earbud settings i said you can go to the earbud fit test once you put your earbuds in your ear you can start the fit test and it does a test it's, it plays a couple of uh sounds you can be able to hear them and it tells you whether you've had a good fit or a bad or a poor fit so if you have a poor fit uh on specific ear it will tell you that you're able to adjust like, like for me it told me i have a poor fit in my left ear so i can change the fit then retry the test once i retry the test if the fit is good gives me a good fit which means I can be able to enjoy my music well with this. And let me tell you, the sound is amazing. If you're an audiophile like myself, ideally I cannot have all this pair of buds if I don't love sound. This sound amazing. They, they have clean and crisp audio. So if you're Play your Spotify, which is now available available in Kenya. You can you, you can and you have your premium option. You can be able to hear music as it is. So you're able to play higher uh, audio versions of songs and get the best out of them. So these are an amazing pair of earbuds that you can get. When you pick them, ideally I've just picked them out and I've realized it's as though I was, I'm in a different room now. But these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. An amazing and pretty decent pair of earbuds. Once again, thank you to the guys over at Mobile Hub Kenya for providing us with this thing before they are made available. But once they're made available, I tell you the truth, this will be something that you will die for. Again, as I said, the wearables division in the Kenyan market has been something that has not been well exploited and explored. But let me tell you, if you want to enjoy your smartphone and this fit ideally with any uh any android phone or with any samsung galaxy device it comes better if you have a samsung galaxy device but if you don't have just go and download the wearable app so any kind of android phone you have ideally as long as it's an android 7 and above with over 1.5 gb of ram that's the standard prerequisite for uh the samsung galaxy buds 2 a phone with 1.5 gb and above of ram and android 7 you're able to pair it download the wearable app pair your samsung galaxy buds 2 and get to enjoy amazing clean crisp audio so that's our first impressions of the samsung galaxy buds too. I'll be using this for quite some time. I'll be spotting them and I'll tell you how I've loved them, you know, after I am done with the full review. So it's a wrap from us, guys. Again, I don't know why I put my earbuds back in the case, but let me enjoy some music listening as I prepare the review for the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. Peace out.